Hello everyone. This is Mahanur Ali and welcome to my channel Learn with Ease. In this video, we are going to learn about the most important structure present in the pectoral region which is the breast or the mammary gland. The breast or the mammary gland is a modified apocrine sweat gland which is rudimentary in males but develops well at puberty in females. The breast or mammary gland is an accessory sex organ of female reproductive system which provides milk to the newborn baby. Now coming to the location of the breast. The breast is located in the superficial fascia of the pectoral region. However, a small superolateral extension of the breast pierces the deep fascia and enters into the axilla. This is known as the axillary tail of Spence. The axillary tail of Spence is a common site for the occurrence of breast tumors. The foramen and deep fascia through which the axillary tail of Spence passes is known as the foramen of Langer. As you can see in this diagram, this is the breast. Here is its superolateral extension known as the axillary tail of Spence and the foramen through which it passes into the axilla is known as the foramen of Langer. Now coming to the shape of the breast, the breast is a hemispherical bulge. Its extent. It extends vertically from the second to sixth ribs and horizontally from the lateral border of the sternum to the mid axillary line. Let us learn about the extent of the breast with the help of a diagram. As you can see in this diagram, here is the manubrium sterni, the body of the sternum and the zephy sternum. Here is the clavicle, the second rib, the sixth rib. Here is the mid axillary line. Now, the breast extends vertically from the second rib to the sixth rib and horizontally from the lateral border of the sternum to the mid axillary line. This is the superolateral extension of the breast known as the axillary tail of Spence. Now, let us learn about the relations of the breast. Coming to the relations of the breast or mammary gland, from superficial to deep, it is related to the pectoral fascia, which covers the anterior aspect of the pectoralis major muscle. This relation is depicted with the help of this diagram. Here, this is the deep aspect of the breast. Behind this breast, you find the pectoral fascia, which covers the anterior aspect of the pectoralis major muscle. But as is visible in this diagram, between the deep aspect of the breast and the pectoral fascia, there is the presence of a space this space is known as the retromammary space which is filled with the loose areolar tissue. The breast can be moved up and down and from side to side because of the presence of this space which is known as the retromammary space. Behind the pectoralis major you have the clavicle, the subclavius, the pectoralis minor and the fascia which encloses the subclavius and pectoralis minor muscle is the clavipectoral fascia as we've learned in the previous video. Now, behind, uh, sorry, coming to the three muscles which are related to the breast, they are the pectoralis major muscle, the serratus anterior muscle and the external oblique muscle. Let us learn about the three muscles related to the breast with the help of this diagram. Here you have your stern, uh, menubrium sterni, the body of the sternum and the ziphy sternum. Here you can see your pectoralis major muscle which is the largest muscle of the pectoral region. Then you have your serratus anterior which clothes the sides of the chest wall and has a serrated appearance as is visible here. Then you have your external oblique muscle. Thank you.